everyone, my name is James Bellissimo. I'm the Berwick Town Manager. I'm here to update you on the January 2024 Town Manager updates. Here we are at the Berwick Water District. We have one project coming up in the shorter term. We're calling it Contract One. And what it is is an upgrade project to various pumps and valves and improvements in the filters themselves. Part of the system has various, it's called media, so essentially dirt. I'm not a water expert, so don't quote me on it. That's how I understand it. So it's filter media that helps filter out the different particulates in the water. The under drains in, the, in these filters have been clogged with manganese over time. So part of that project is to replace those under drains. Working on the engineering for contract two right now, which will include a recycling system that will go back here. This is our recycling system. So what happens is the raw water comes in, it gets treated, the treated water backwashes to clean the pipes and the water ends up here. The sediment gets settled out and the water gets pumped back into the system. It becomes an issue which is really hard to get it out of the system. So part of that contract too is improving our recycling system. So here we are on location with the brand new basketball court. We have four full-size basketball hoops. Basketball hoops we had before, they were not the plexiglass material. They were more of a hard plastic. So if you go up for a layup, it's a whole different feel than a typical shot. So I don't encourage anybody to do it, but if people could dunk, there's less damage done hanging on the rims. Connectivity is a big theme for not only this project, but just connectivity to the overall downtown. Over here will be walking areas and it will connect to the different features in this park. The general idea is to be able to have a nice walking path, at least a base gravel, a nice walkable, accessible walking circuit. Some of the challenges we encountered this year is that everything is so connected and integrated that there is a just really sequencing. Just an idea of like the little things that come up with sequencing. We need to coordinate with our partners, CMP. The corner of the fence will go here. So this needs to be reworked. Shannon, our assistant recreation director has worked with CMP and they've agreed to move the pole. We want to make sure that we had the, both the tennis and pickleball court and the basketball court done. That way when our paver came out, it was just one job. Over here in the distance, it's the batting cages. This isn't changing any. This is the future fence of the tennis and pickleball court. So it's a, a tennis court um, and it'll be two pickleball courts. One of the things uh, we heard is um, soundproofing concerns. So our, our plan is to put in some soundproofing and then um, see if it works and and improve it as we go. One of the first major decisions that Josh, the recreation director and I, we, we made is we wanted to make sure that we made the most out of this, uh, of this area. And one of the things we're aware of is this building may be towards the end of its useful life. We're aware that one of the more desired features here is some permanent bathrooms. So there'll be a, an incorporation of uh, permanent bathrooms here. So we may not need proto parties in the near future. Any capital project starts with a feasibility study and then you work to get an estimate and then we figure out how to budget it. And they've been pretty aggressive with grants and we'll continue to go after grants. So the plan for in this, this area is to put a splash pad right here. So here we are at the new playground, which features for two to five here, five to 12 over here. We have a playground that was installed uh, about 20 years ago. Recreation director made a decision that the playground was unsafe and needed to go. We had, I think it was five playground companies bid on it. And there was a small informal committee that got together to make a recommendation. The town acquired three acres on the other side of the uh, soccer field. So this is the other side of the soccer field and there's three acres here that the town recently purchased with open space impact fees. The initial concept is to add an additional multi-use, multi-purpose field 
in the intermediate, some ideas of possibly doing a, a trail system. It's really up to the community and the rec department to figure out what's the best use of this, of this area. Years and years of uh, visioning and planning and volunteer time coming into fruition is pretty special. I agree. Yeah. We're here live in the town Kupala. Oh, hi there. As you can see around the building here, we have some work that needs to be done. First thing is the uh, railing here. You can see that we have some of the decorative elements that have actually brought it off. If you notice, we now have our LED light and the clock works and the siding underneath the clock is all new and looks good. The goal for next summer is to restore it and make it right. That's it for my town manager report for January 2024. As always, you can get a hold of me. My door is open. Give me a call 207-698-1101 extension 111 or shoot me an email. See you next time.